The 800 members and friends are pleased to present the Burnt Store Presbyterian Church. The church is located on Burnt Store Road in Punta Gorda, Florida. We are a community of caring and welcoming believers who look up to worship and glorify the Lord and to praise His blessings. We resolve to become His disciples in our congregation by striving to follow His example and by loving our neighbors as we love ourselves. And by becoming disciples, we pray that we will change lives by touching their hearts, minds, and souls, and by improving the lot of mankind. Hear the words of Pastor Tim Stewart as he discusses the church's mission of reaching up to the Lord. Reaching up, making disciples, changing lives. Let's talk about reaching up. I suspect if we were to play word association with reaching up, our thoughts would immediately go to the service of worship on Sunday morning. So let's talk about worship. Worship with all of its parts, its praise, its liturgy, its music, its scripture, its sermon, its prayers, its offering. Worship is for God's benefit. It's for God's glory. It's for God's adoration. Our worship is of God and our worship is for God. Worship is an event that people do corporately as a church body. It's an event people do individually. But either way, worship is a way of life. Tim has been our pastor since 1990. We reach up to embrace the Lord in many ways. Burnt Store holds three church services every Sunday with traditional services at 8.15 and 11 a.m and a contemporary service at 9.45. Lee Dupuy, the Director of Music and Fine Arts, conducts the Praise Chorale, providing inspiration through anthems and hymns during traditional services. Charles Durr, organist and composer, plays appropriate and sacred music and accompanies the praise chorale. also directs the Praise Bells, our handbell ensemble, and Praise Kids, the children's choir. The contemporary service, known as Kaya, or Come As You Are, rocks the house with a five-piece orchestra and a bevy of spirited singers and led by Paul Brewer. God is good all the time. children and celebrate their presence in our midst during a children's moment featured in all church services. We find in scripture that we are reminded over and over again that Jesus can be the guiding light for us, that we can negotiate or we can get through life through following Jesus. So let us all remember, especially as we see all these lights during Christmas time, that Jesus is the light of the world. Sunday school is not just for children. The adults have faith works classes every Sunday at 9.45 and 11 a.m. after enjoying coffee at the Holy Grounds Cafe. We celebrate the Lord's Supper with communion during the first Sunday of the month. The Bible tells us that on the night Jesus was arrested and betrayed, He took bread, and after giving thanks to the Father for it, He broke it 
And he said, this is my body which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And in the same way, Jesus took the cup and he said, this is the new covenant sealed in my blood for the forgiveness of your sins. Anytime you drink of it, remember me. Jesus said, for as long as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Burntstorm members are involved with reaching up to the Lord every day and in many ways. The Burntstorm players offer skits and stage plays to demonstrate the ways of the Lord throughout the year. Look at this incredible live rendition of Da Vinci's The Last Supper. We have just presented examples of how we reach up to the Lord. The church also has a mission of making disciples. Every member is encouraged to act and is given opportunities to act as a disciple of Christ. Here's Pastor Tim speaking to the making of disciples. Let's talk about making disciples. Making disciples by knowing, loving, and following Jesus Christ. As we look at that phrase, making disciples, I believe there's something that we need to consider before we talk about making disciples. Before we mention making disciples, we need to talk about being a disciple. At the heart of Jesus' ministry is discipleship. The New Testament uses the word disciple more than 250 times. The New Testament is, in fact, the story of disciples written by disciples who want to make more disciples. So the question for you and me is simply this. Am I a disciple? Pastor Valerie Bell taught us to fully rely on God when the going gets tough and when we need to offer help to those we love who may be in crisis. Here at Burnt Store Presbyterian Church, we're kind of known as the Frog Church, and that's because we have given out thousands of frogs, and we do that to encourage people to trust, to fully rely on God. Many of the times we don't know the answers to people's concerns and conditions, but we do know that we can encourage them to trust, fully rely on God. The church provides small, handheld frogs for members to give to friends in need. And we reach out to others with our church frog for parades and community events. Discipleship sometimes takes unexpected forms. We sponsor a Trunk of Treats Halloween party held in Muscle Car City's parking lot as an indirect invitation to young children and their families to experience the love and generosity of Bergstor Church. It also gives members a means for revisiting their childhood. As Jesus said, anyone who will not receive the kingdom of God like a little child will not enter it. We're trying, Lord. We're really trying. Jesus selected 12 disciples to follow him and preach his word. They represented a small group to move as God directed and to give witness to his word. Burnstore Presbyterian Church has several small groups where members and friends explore and share their faith journeys and concerns. They offer prayers, Bible studies, and the application of biblical and Christian values in today's fast-moving world. Faith Works classes take place every Wednesday evening, and structured Bible groups meet twice weekly. Every summer, Vacation Bible School attracts a large group of youngsters. They engage in Bible studies and explore their spirituality through song and art. 
The faculty offers examples of Jesus' love for children and for all Christians. This is a fun time and a great way for children to experience God's grace. Discipleship changes the lives of those who follow the Lord as he directs, but it also brings change to our neighbors as well, neighbors both near and far. Changing lives as God directs our witness and our work. The 20th century theologian Emil Bruner writes, The church exists by mission, the same way a fire exists by burning. No burning, no fire, no mission, no church. The fact is, I believe that there's nothing our church does that isn't mission. But this morning, let's focus on two things that people probably think of most quickly when they hear the word mission. Our witness and our work, two sides of that one coin, which is in fact mission. Burnstore members extend hands of love and support in a variety of ways. The Lord commanded that we feed the hungry. Several members serve meals to the homeless in Port Charlotte on Wednesday nights. Members donate food to the St. Vincent de Paul Food Pantry every week, and a contingent of members prepares and serves meals to oppressed immigrants in Immokalee on a regular basis. Every month, our members provide low-cost but high-quality food to over 100 families through the Angel Food Ministries. Church members turned out in force after Hurricane Charlie to help folks return to their ravaged homes. Some of them gave of their skills while their homes were still in need of repair. A contingent of 12 members traveled to Mississippi on the heels of Hurricane Katrina to help restore order from chaos. The big red bus that collects blood for the blood banks visits us regularly. We have been told that Burnt Store Presbyterian Church is one of the largest donor groups in Charlotte County. This church supports the Blanchard Christian Church and School in Haiti in City Soleil the most oppressed area in Port-au-Prince. Kathy Tardy has traveled to Haiti on more than 20 mission trips. Being a member of our church's mission team to Haiti leaves a soft footprint on your heart that does change your life. When we shed our American expectations and trust in the Lord to lead us in compassion, we find our focus shifts to the very basics clean water, minimal nutrition, rudimentary medical care, and education in a Christian environment. We work among the poorest of the poor, in the worst slum of the Western Hemisphere, in clinics, schools, the library, putting a roof on a storm-ravaged house, and we have seen the Lord at work in Haiti. I may not live long enough to see Haiti change, but I have seen lives changing daily through the transforming love of Jesus Christ, and it is a blessing to be involved in the Lord's work in Haiti. Soli Deo Gloria, to God alone be the glory. 
In 2009, our members contributed over $20,000 toward the construction of a new high school at Blanchard. Our members also provide an ongoing support to over 40 patient children, essentially providing them with full scholarships to the Blanchard School. Four days following the completion of this report, an earthquake of epic proportions devastated Haiti. We grieve with our Haitian brothers and sisters for the horror they have experienced, the countless loss of lives, overwhelming numbers of injured and maimed, the huge destruction of homes, and for our loss of a precious young friend, our translator and brother, Bozy. We have seen the deep faith of the people of Haiti and we stand shoulder to shoulder with them to keep that faith with a strength and commitment to help in near-term relief and long-term rebuilding. For I was hungry and you gave me food. For I was thirsty and you gave me drink. We have seen the Lord at work in Haiti and we have felt his presence. We lift up the people of Haiti in prayer. Their hope and ours is in Jesus Christ our Lord. This is a church that takes its mission seriously, and in doing so, we are also a joyful assembly of Christians. Yes, we are a caring church that reaches up to worship the Lord. We strive to make disciples of our members and friends, and to change lives for the betterment of mankind. And we do these things to the glory of God. Jesus commanded us to love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, and soul, and to love your neighbors as yourself. By responding to his command, they will know we are Christians by our love. We are one in the Spirit. We are one in the Lord. We are one in the Spirit, we are one in the Lord. And we pray that all unity may one day be restored. And they'll know we are Christians by our